Hello and welcome to Fail Race vs the Community. We are playing Dirt 3 today. Um, I mean, we're going to do this a little bit differently. Uh, this is live recorded, so anything could happen. Uh, we are currently racing Group B cars. We're going to do some rally cross. I am using my Fail Race account here. I'm praying that uh, I can use all of the cars, which I can use the important one. I don't have the Quattro or the Ford, don't care though. Peugeot for me. Thank you. Uh, we've got to go for the proper Peugeot livery, of course. Uh, we've got some Delta S4s. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, this should be uh, interesting. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to start off with Rallycross. We are then going to swap to Raid. Uh, what was it? Oh, I can't remember all of them. You'll see. Uh, trophy Trucks, Raid, and possibly the 70s cars. Mainly because I want to use a Mark II Escort. Um, we shall see how it goes. Now, Dirt, uh, I was going to do a, a Let's Play, whatever you want to call it, on Friday, but plans slightly changed. Uh, Dirt is probably the best off-road racing game there is on on Xbox, probably the best off-road racing game there is, full stop at the moment. It isn't a proper rally game as such, because there's only a small section of it is rallying. There's a few rally courses, but only a small section of it is rallying. Um, there's lots of other disciplines, rally cross, uh, trailblazing, which is sort of, I don't quite know what you'd call that, very fast rallies, and like they're not sort of like twisty turny through forest stages, they're a little bit more spread out. Uh, there's trophy trucks, there's raid trucks, there's Jim Carner, which I'm not a real fan of, but uh, right, we are going to go. Oh, we're off! There wasn't much of a countdown. Uh, I think I've got all of our tank gears at the moment. Damn it, forgot to change settings. Uh, I haven't played this game on my Fair Race account before. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm using the silly uh, automatic gears. And I'm last! That's not good. Oh, there's a speed of spin! Oh, there's a, a Ford in front of me that's now facing the wrong way! <laughs> Rally Cross is mental fun! Uh, much like real life. Uh, I actually had to watch some Rally Cross. I can't remember. It's some sort of championship. It's on Motors TV. I watched a bit of it. Uh, it looks fun, I have to say. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit mental, um, but it does look pretty good fun in real life. Woohoo! Just everything is falling off the road in front of me. I'm alive. How did I get through that? Uh, what's look behind? The horns. Ah, oh, yes, you can mess about with the horns. <laughs> I remember now. I don't know what look behind is anymore. Oh, that's what look behind is. Found the right button. Uh, I don't even know what cause I'm on. Okay, how many laps? Three laps. Car ahead. Four seconds. I think you'll go. Woo! Where am I going? I'm lost on a racetrack. That's not good. Uh, there's an angry mob of cars behind me. Quick, run away. Run away, faster, Peugeot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I can see a metro in my mirror, and then the arrows come alongside me. Ah! Ooh, gone too wide on there. And the Delta's got past as well. I'm going to blame the automatic gearbox. Uh, ooh, that <laughs> Delta. Uh, uh, maybe, may have just slightly tagged the back of the uh, metro there, and almost drove into the <laughs> bridge. That would have been very clever. Big jump! Everybody's, everybody's got through that safely at the moment. Uh, Alright, I've got to make it. I want to be on a podium, really. Oof, sorry, wall. Uh, can we get to Yes, we can. Delta is in the wall. Can I make the most of it? No, not really. I think I'm the only Peugeot, though. I think there's a Delta behind me. Uh, I'm terrified of that Delta. The Delta S4, for those of you who don't know, is one of the very, very few cars that is both turbocharged and supercharged. It's an incredibly quick thing. Uh, it is DLC for this game, unfortunately. Otherwise, I probably would be driving it. Hey, the Metro's had a spin. That is a really tricky corner, by the way, um, through there. It's very, very easy to spin a uh, car on that section because it's, a, it's, it's not quite a flat-out corner, or it can be flat-out sometimes, uh, and Dirt has this weird handling physics on it, uh, which means that the cars will sometimes spin out on the high-speed corners for no real apparent reason. Uh, if you've seen my Let's Play, if I, if I show the uh, Dirt video at some point, you see that I have a few crashes on that corner. Oh, God, yeah, that was an awkward landing. Uh, it's, it's a nasty corner, that one in particular. Uh, I think we're coming up to... Is that a car that's a lap down, or is that the leader that's had an accident? Ooh, ooh, no, tyres, get out the tyre wall. I'm driving, I'm driving a little bit close to the crowd there. Oh, the delta behind me has vanished as well. It's going to be quite a nice uh, third place, I think, for me. There's absolutely nobody around me. Okay, well... <laughs> yes, it was the leader who had a crash. And there's quite a close battle at the front there. But um, this is you, all you're seeing is uh, me... Ooh. Found the wall as well. Uh, there's a lack of replay cameras in dirt, so I have to do this live. There was a close battle at the front, uh, but I think the the, yeah, the guy who had been leading the whole way. I am the only Peugeot. Woohoo! So I am the best placed Peugeot. Yay! <laughs> uh, we've got Quattro okay, first, Delta S4 second, then my Peugeot, and then another Delta, then a Metro, and there's a Quattro that broke across the line. Oh, I can do Spectate. There we go. We can watch some other people. There we go. That looks quite broken. It's a facelift version of the RS200. <laughs> oh dear. That one there's across the line. And there's another. The RS200 did not fare so well. Much like in real Group B rallying. 
Uh, the RS 200s weren't particularly successful. Uh, also, I apologise if voices end up coming through the TV and end up in this video because uh, I my headset's on, but it might turn itself off at some point, which I'm hoping it doesn't do. So yeah, if voices randomly start to appear talking, that means my headset's turned off. I will try and endeavour to keep an eye on it to make sure that it stays on. Anyway, up next, where are we going to go? We're going to go some trophy trucks. I love trophy trucks. Uh, I haven't really seen much of the real life stuff. I've pretty much just seen it on Crash. Um, half Crash is normally dedicated to trophy trucks rolling each other over. So it looks like a hugely fun sport. Um, they, they're pretty mental vehicles, I have to say. And they do look huge fun to, uh, to drive and to race. Now, if we go, we want to go... Oh, Land Rush. Stadium trucks. There we go. No one any flashbacks. Don't need them. Okay, track selection. We're going to go Aspen. Aspen? Aspen? I don't know. Uh, yeah, this one. And we're going to make it snow. Because I know that this track in the snow um, is incredibly hard to see what's going on. Especially at the start. So this should be nice and chaotic. Um, let's everybody ready up. Uh, hopefully people will get, a, get the message. Let's go! Uh, if I press start, do people... Yeah, I think people will get the idea. So yeah, as I said, I love trophy trucks. Uh, they are incredible fun. They're incredibly fun to race on here. Uh, in real life, they look certainly very, very interesting. Oh, I don't have any of the cool liveries. See, that's my normal livery. The Puma Motorsport one. But because I was a noob on this game, on this account anyway, uh, we're going to go for... Oh, this one. I'm not even going to try and pronounce stuff. I think I've got to the point now where you know I can't pronounce anything. Uh, so I'm just not going to try. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to have a go with this. Um, so yeah, Dirt 3 It is probably my favourite of the off-road racing. I love the old Colin McRae games. I know a lot of you have been saying I should play them. And I would love to if I had one that worked on anything. Uh, they have just released the Colin McRae Rally for iPad. Um, I think it was a couple of days ago. I don't have an iPad, and I wouldn't have had a record off one even if I did. Plus, I don't want to play it on an iPad. Make it for computer, please, Codemasters, I beg you. Make the old Colin McRae Rally games. Like, just release them on Steam. Um, I can't, don't know how hard it is to make them compatible with a computer, but considering you've made it compatible for blooming iPad, how hard can it be to make it compatible with a modern computer? I don't know, though. That might just be me talking a load of crap. But, uh, yeah, I would love to see the old Colin McRae games on... Uh, on PC so we can have a go with them and of course I would definitely do videos if they were ever released because them games are fantastic. I'm afraid I'm still stuck in automatic which is a real shame. Woohoo I've forgotten where the course goes. Oh no, oh no, oh dear, oh dear, we've rolled it, it's over. Uh, <laughs> uh, someone's destroyed their vehicle and, and mine's not probably that healthy. Zero, oh, game tags again. Um, I may have forgotten where I was going. <laughs> I drove this course the other day, how have I forgotten it already? And I wasn't used to starting from the front. Aha! There is a truck! I have something to race! Can't see a thing! Blooming snow! Get out of the way, snow! I don't know why I'm telling snow to get out of the way. It's not like it's going to listen to me. Um, I can't imagine trophy trucks are driven in the snow. Oh, hey! Someone's on their roof! Sorry! Uh, there's definitely somebody on their roof. Let's look back. There's a look back. Uh, <laughs> God, this is an interesting thing to drive. Oh, he's got no tyre! <laughs> there must have been a big crash behind me while I was on my roof. Can you just... Sorry. Uh, I'm trying to find a way past you cleanly, but um, it's pretty difficult with your car sort of all over the place. There we go. Uh, what's, that's horn. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You can have loads of cool horns on here. Uh, whoa, we're in the air. We're flying. Briefly, ooh, there's loads of cool horns you can have. I can't remember how. You think you unlock them as you go through the career. Uh, and, of course, I haven't done any of it on here. So I have no horns. Where am I? I'm in fourth. That's not too bad, considering I spent the first sort of 10, 20 seconds of this race on my roof. And uh, not really knowing which way I was going. Can I make it on the podium? Ooh. So there's a wall there. Just about avoided that one. Oh, someone else has broken their car. Uh, I knew this would be a uh, killer track. <laughs> um, ooh, can we get turned? Yes, we can. Okay. One of the reasons why Dirt 3 is such a good rally game is the, the, the sense of something always going on at all times. You're always having to worry about something. Breaking, accelerating, steering, uh, worrying about a bump in the road. You are constantly fighting the car, and that's what rally driving and all of the sort of off-road racing should be about. Now, there's a lot of rally games in which it's very easy to drive cars. Uh, WRC 3 springs to mind. It was quite a fun game. I did enjoy playing that, but it's very easy to drive the cars. Whereas on here, it's utterly terrifying, especially on like the Group B cars through some of the rally stages in the single player. That is insane because the cars are very, very fast. And of course, you've got trees whipping either side of you, and uh, it is a real interesting challenge keeping them things under control which is what it should be 
And yeah, as you can see in this truck, I'm constantly fighting it. I'm constantly steering one way or the other, trying to keep this thing under control. And I love that about this game. Oh dear, didn't keep it under control very well there. Uh, my truck is not looking too healthy. I wonder how much damage I've got. What's the change? Oh, oh, I'm missing doors. I'm missing a few minor panels. Uh, ooh, can we get turned? Yes, we can. Oh, I'm missing another panel now. Not going to be much left of my truck. <laughs> okay, where's the cockpit view again? For some reason, I just like playing dirt in cockpit view. Uh, I don't know. I, I tend to, I've said before many times, I tend to drive bonnet view. Um, but dirt is just so much more fun in cockpit view because it's such a busy game anyway. Uh, just added difficulty. I'm not sure if I've got something broken with one of my wheels that is uh, making this a bit tricky to drive. Or uh, well, maybe I'm just probably being terrible. Oh, there's a car in front of me. This is the final lap. Come on, Jeep. We can do this. I don't think we can because there's only one more corner. Roll. Please roll. Do a willet roll for me in front of me. And then I can take third. Uh, oh, no, I nearly did it myself. Oh, get turned. There we go. Uh, no, you didn't. God damn it. Uh, oh, no, you're going to be polite, are you? No, you're not. You're going to tease me. Uh, <laughs> ah, there we go. I was fourth in the end. I'll take that. I'll take that. I finished, despite the fact I rolled on the first corner. Uh, this is the... <laughs> you have done well, my friend, to keep that thing in together. And now you're going to mess about on the start-finish line, are you? Oh, look, it's about to buy Tra Traxxas. They make remote control cars. That's how I know them. Uh, it's good to see them on a game. And uh, there's someone back there as well in the Puma car who is uh, going to finish in reverse as well. So, there we go. That's trophy trucks. They are probably the most fun vehicles on Dirt 3, in my opinion anyway. They are incredibly good fun to mess about with. Right. Uh, overall, oh, this is not the overall event. This is just from the last, from just that single event. You can set up like mini championships, which I'm not going to do because I want to keep changing cars at the end of each event. Okay, we're looking at a truck. Woohoo! Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this game is actually pretty good looking. I can't remember how many years. It's a couple of years old now, I should think. Graphics are pretty damn good on this game. Um, yeah, you only can see. Uh, although, to be fair, Xbox 360 games haven't really got much better in the last couple of years. Uh, they've just about got the most they could out of this console. Okay, where are we going next? We're going to do... Oh, I don't know if I can do it online, though. Stadium, trucks, trailblazer... No, can I... Oh, can I do... Is it rally? Group B, 70s... Raid! There it is! Fantastic. Ready, Ray. Don't any flashbacks on. Track selection. Now, should I be really mean? Let's find the nastiest, twistiest circuit imaginable. I'm not going to go. I'll try and keep to a relatively short one. Michigan. That looks quite twisty, doesn't it? And it looks like it's raining. Look at the evening sun. Staggered starts off. We uh, we want uh, a big race, preferably. Uh, what do we got? Do, do we want this one? I want a little bit shorter. Possibly. Oh, I don't know how. I can't tell length. There we go. Uh, we're going to go for... No, we're not going for night. Evening sun. And we're just going to go for... Oh, wait, is that... Okay, we're going to have to go for a proper rallying kind of thing. Unfortunately, um, we can't all start at once. Which is a shame. Uh, I thought you could with Ray. Oh, I might be thinking of Dirt 2. I can't remember <laughs> all the things that were with these games. Dirt 2 was actually the first game I ever got a 1,000 game score on. Uh, and one of the very few that I have as well. Uh, I think only Dirt and... Uh, Forza Horizon are the only two that I have got a thousand game score on uh, because I get bored of games after I've completed like one playthrough of them even like the good story games I think Skyrim is probably one of the few that I've gone back and done another playthrough of because I haven't got bored of it because Skyrim's so massive there's so much you can do uh, Borderlands as well is probably the other example but uh, yeah I, I tend to just get once I've completed the story I tend not to play the game too much unless the multiplayer is really good uh, or in Forza's case I just play it forever uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going for a raid truck. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit... Oh, I was hoping we could race all of them together, but I, it appears you can't. So we're doing a proper sort of rally now. On Online, when you do proper rallying, the, stay, the start is staggered, like in a proper race. So, um, I don't know how long the gap is. I think it's four or five seconds. Uh, so one car will go, and then it'll wait, and then it'll release the other one. Uh, collisions will be still on, though. So if I catch up to somebody, uh, I can still have a crash. Or if somebody catches up to me... Uh, we can still have a crash. I am behind a good color color choice, my friend. What have I got behind me? I've got a Hummer behind me and a Hummer in front of me. That is a scary prospect. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, a Castrol Hummer is up front, and that one there's gone. So it's now just sort of waiting your turn. Uh, I can't really see much behind me. Who, 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 there we go. What cars have we got? Oh, they're all queuing up the hill. It's going to be a long time for that <laughs> Nikon Hummer to go. <laughs> Uh, so it's bowlers versus hummers. Okay, let's see who's going to come out on top. I think there is one, two, I think there's four hummers and, no, I think there's five hummers and three bowlers. 
Right then, let's have a look. I wouldn't have thought the Hummer was a particularly good choice of car for uh, racing. I would have thought it's too heavy, even in rally spec. It's still a pretty hefty thing, uh, I would imagine anyway. I don't really know. I don't really know much about raid trucks, to be honest. I, ooh, there's a bit of a jump there. I occasionally see the odd thing about Dakar and that sort of thing. You have these mental off-road vehicles that I think are pretty damn cool. But uh, yeah, I don't really... I don't know, do they race these in anything other than Dakar? I assume there are events for them. But uh, I haven't seen them on telly. Ooh, there's a something there, tyre bundle. Let's try and not hit that. Okay, where's the first checkpoint? It's quite a long track, this one. And I think it might be mostly tarmac. So this might have been easier than I thought. Not too good. Uh, I wanted it to be a challenge. Ooh, hey, look at that. A little bit of sliding. Uh, oh, I'm not fastest. Damn it, I may have taken the sign with me. Uh, this is very close, actually. Looking at all those times. Gee. Uh, okay. I've got to concentrate. I, I I want to actually do well in one of these events. I, I'd like... Ooh, the yeah, tree. I don't want to go find the tree. That's not fun. Uh, all right, let's go around. I don't even know what handbrake is. Is that handbrake? No, that doesn't seem like handbrake. Uh, that's horn. Um, uh, I don't want to risk trying to find out what handbrake is uh, when I am sort of don't need it. But then when I do need it, I kind of want to know what it is. Uh, ooh. How are we doing? Oh, somebody's had a bit of a crash, I think. They're 16 seconds behind. Uh, Woo! Lamppost! Dodge the lamppost! Oh, look at that skill. Uh, there's an Evo over there. I saw it. Uh, <laughs> never noticed cars parked there. Oh, look how close it is! Ooh. Come on. I am 0.0. That's a very small margin. Right, oh, I see a bit of bumper. That's from the guy that crashed, I would imagine. Okay. Where are we going? I don't know where we're going. Me talking isn't really helping me with navigating because I can't hear the guy who's reading the page notes. Uh, <laughs> that's the downside, the downside of commentating while driving on here. You can't hear a thing he's saying. Oh, we're going to go understeery. Understeery bush. Find the bush. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing relatively well in this truck. I, have, I haven't played Dirt 3. Apart from when I went to record a video like two days ago, I hadn't played Dirt 3 for ages. A bit of a shame, actually, because it's a really good game. Uh, woo, woo. Get around there. Through the gate. Don't hit the gate. That's good. Ah, I see a Hummer. Oh, hey, I'm in the lead. Oh, that's a big game. I'm um, five seconds in the lead. I don't know. The thing about this is always very, very tense because you don't know what the cars behind you are doing. You really want to be last off. Admittedly, you have to wait for a while at the start. But if you're last off, you can kind of, oh, there's a Hummer that's had a spin in front of me. Overtake. <laughs> Avoid the lamppost. Uh, you want to be the last off because then you can see everybody's time through the checkpoints. Whereas I don't know how fast the guys are behind me. Which uh, is an interesting thing for a, for a racing game. There's not many, well, to be fair, there's not many rally games. I never played WRC 3 online, so I don't know. Oh, there's been a roadblock. Sorry, Hummer. <laughs> may have been a little bit of a crash. Oh dear, it's not so good. Right, let's get round here. I can still hold it together. Oh, someone destroyed their vehicle right at the end. I guess that's probably on the finishing posts, because they're fairly solid. And uh, you try and take a little bit too much. Oh no, they fell in the water, I think. <laughs> that doesn't help. Ah, oh, I'm across the line, but I screwed it up. I had a bit of a crash. Ah, uh, that's not so good. Damn it. Okay, this is... Oh, you're missing lots of your car. Missing a... All the front. Uh, okay. <laughs> what have we got? Nikon Hummer. That's missing all its front as well. We press X. No, can I not look through other cars? Uh, oh, there we go. Cinematic camera. There we go. Um, you're going to be watching this car uh, get to the finish line. Ooh, what's going on? I did. Oh, it's the camera's changing. I, I swear I used to be able to change the car. Uh, whoa, it's lifting its. Okay, fair enough. Cars <laughs> doing a tricycle. It's a tricycle car doing sort of a reverse tricycle. That's what we're used to. Never knew that. Tree! You've found a tree. Congratulations. You've got two spare wheels. Uh, shame you didn't bring a spare bumper. <laughs> or front uh, front tyre, in fact. Uh, blah, blah, blah. English, please. Uh, in fact, entire front end was what I was meant to say. That was the bit that killed me, I think. Uh, can I tell where I am? Oh, you found a tree. Well done. Found the scenery. It's not just me that finds bits of scenery. You'll be pleased to hear. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, person. It just happens to be that you that I'm watching because my game wouldn't let me change. So... <laughs> Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. It's bad in there. Well, it might be quite fun, but uh, it's bad to go in there in the truck because it crashes your race. And there we go. Nearly across the line. Hey, finished. Where did I come? Ah, oh, second. Uh, it was all the blooming roly fault um, crash I had, probably. Although that would have been very close, actually, if I hadn't had that crash. Uh, and the bowlers win. Uh -huh, see, I told you bowlers were a good way to go. The two nemesis came first and second, and the other one fell in the water, uh, but was doing fairly well up until that point. Okay. We are going to finish with uh, the 70s rally cars. I'll go to Finland, I think, we'll do another proper rally event. Because the Mark II Escort is fantastic. 
Uh, it's the best, well, I say best rally car, it's probably one of my favourite. If you exclude the Group B cars for their pure insanity, uh, the Mark II Escort is probably my favourite of all the rally cars. Um, on Dirt 2, I think it was, uh, there was me and a friend had this massive competition going on. I think it was Croatia. There was a rally stage on uh, Croatia. That, so we were having this massive competition with the Mark II Escorts to try and beat each other's time. It went on for like a week, and I think I ended up like 60th in the world on that course because we spent so long trying to beat each other. Uh, it was good fun. And the Mark II Escort is such a fun car to drive. Uh, where are we going? Ooh, should we go to snow? Yes, we should go to snow. Do we do a night stage as well? Yes, let's do a night stage. Is there... Oh, God. Now, one of these stages is very similar to the one that Top Gear raced a car against a bobsled. I think it's that one. But uh, it looks a little bit long. So let's go for a night stage. Staggered start. Collisions are on. I'm sorry to the guy who I ended up blocking in that last race. Because uh, I had a crash in front of him. Uh, anyway, we're going to go... Yeah, that seems good. Um... Let's start this one up, and um, this should be fun. I don't know how well this will come across in the video. If there's a problem with the night, uh, hopefully there shouldn't be. shouldn't be too dark. That's the plan. Oh, video's gone on for a while. I've been talking a lot. It's quite hard to drive and talk at the same time. <laughs> it's a, Yeah, it's surprisingly difficult. So we've got some Stratosses. And they're going to have a little bit of an advantage here, I would imagine. We've got a good, good man. You have a Mark II Escort as well. And we have a Fiat. I quite like those Fiat, actually. I drove one in Forza. They're surprisingly enjoyable cars to drive. They're not fast. In fact, to be honest, neither is the Mark II Escort standard. Uh, they're not particularly fast, but they're just sort of nice, fun cars to drive. Uh, I do enjoy, well, I race mo most, mostly, there we go, uh, the lower class cars. Sort of C, B and A class. I don't really like anything faster than that. But I can drive them. I just prefer the, the, the lower classes. It also makes for better racing because you don't have to be such quite insane skill levels to control the cars, uh, which makes for the racing a lot closer and often a lot cleaner, um, which is why often you will see us doing sort of B-class, A-class stuff at the most, because I just don't like uh, the higher classes. We might do at some point, if people are interested, uh, go for some supercars, but uh, it makes it more difficult for the, your normal racer to stand a chance um, and keep all of everything fair and clean. Now, this is going to be an interesting challenge. Night in the snow... And I've got no co-driver because I'm talking over him. Uh, God, this is going to be fun. Uh, there you go. Hello, co-driver. Can I read your pace notes? Nope, I can't really. Uh, no, nope, can't see him. He's uh, too dark. So what have we got? I've got a... Don't know what that is behind me. Is that the Opal? Or... or I don't know. Uh, Stratos is in front of me. Okay. The Stratos, I think that was the guy that beat me in the last race. So I'll have my time to compare against his. I am, again, still using automatic. Because I don't know if I... Oh, I couldn't change. I don't think what happens goes to the option screens. And that would mean sort of pausing the race. I don't want to do that, do we? Uh, oh no, this is the one with the bobsleigh course. It's over there to my left. Uh, I've got to focus now. Ooh, yeah, oh yeah, this is a tighter corner than I was expecting. Okay, let's try not to mess up. Try not to mess up. <laughs> this is a, ooh, ooh, we're in the air. We're in the air. I messed up. Found a bush. Hello, bush. Uh, I'm all good. I didn't lose too much time. I don't think I'm going to win now. Yeah, there is a, a race on here in the single player stuff where you get to race against the bobsleigh in the mini WRC car, I think. I think it's the correct car that Top Gear used. It's a blooming hard race, that one, as well. Uh, it's good fun. Like, Woohoo! That's a bit of a bump there. <laughs> God, this car's so much fun to drive, and I've spun. I'm doing pirouettes. I'm making snowmen. Uh, come on, let's keep going. I'm not going to be winning this one. Not being the greatest of start. Never, you never know, though. People could crash in front of me. Um, that's what I'm hoping for now. <laughs> not much left to hope for. Right, we'll go around here. Oh, I'm eight seconds down. Oh, dear. That's not good. That's not good at all. Woohoo! Hello. A little bit of oversteer there. <laughs> oh, I've got a lot of work to do on this. Right. Ignore that. I'm taking out some, I don't know, sign, not signs, what is it called? Fencing? Temporary fencing thing. Uh, all right. Oh, I see a car in front of me. Someone's had an accident. Uh, maybe I won't be quite so far off the uh, leaderboard type. Woohoo! <laughs> That's a little bit scary. Another big bump. Suspension isn't going to be thanking me much <laughs> for this. Okay, I think the guy, that not not now Kato, is um, kind of driving away with this one. Uh, wee we're going to go for a little bit of a slide again there. Okay, how much longer? We're about halfway stage now. Ooh, I've only had two spins, which is good. Haven't rolled it yet, which is very useful. Ooh, get stopped, get stopped. What's handbrake? Don't know. Oh, no, we've fallen off the course. Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't know that was destructible. That's not helpful. Uh, I may have escaped the rally course. Um, I was looking for handbrake, but I've lost it. That's, is that handbrake? I think... No, that's not handbrake. That's not handbrake for sure. Uh, don't try and drive and change camera angles at the same time. It's not very good. I don't know what handbrake is at all. Uh, is it B? 
Oh yeah, I think it's B. Okay, I found handbrake. As I come to the final race and I'm three quarters of the way through, I finally figure out what handbrake is. Uh, how useful. Uh, <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting about what account I am on and random controls. Whoa, there's a big crash in front of me. Bye bye, Escort. Was it me falling off the road that time? And I'm up behind... I don't know what that is. Is that in a bath? Woohoo! Get in a straight line. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Bumps, bumps. Woohoo! On two wheels. Bit of stunt driving for you there. Uh, no, I refuse to do will it roll. I will not do will it roll at the moment. There we go. Get round here. How far off am I on the leader? 19 seconds. Woohoo! I've thoroughly explored the scenery, though, which is a good thing. I've shown much of the game to you. Woohoo! Too much of the game. Woo! Go found another bit of scenery there. There is too much scenery on this uh, on this level. <laughs> someone's wrecked their car. Yeah, this is a nasty course. Oh, someone's behind me. Sorry, fella. I'm I'm kind of racing and woo, woo, woo. Oh, I've gone over here. You can go past. I won't get in your way. Oh, there's another person over there. You can go past as well. Uh, <laughs> this is not gone very well. Oh, someone's had a spin in front. Woo. Oh, there's a big crash. Everybody avoid. Woo we did well. Well done. Everybody get Mars that without too big of a crash. I think the Stratos may have taken a couple of hits on there. Um, I'm not done particularly well here. Oh, there's a Mark II Escort had a shunt. Oh, it's all gone wrong at the end of the race. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I am across the line, not particularly well, but uh, there we go. I didn't come last. Uh, Opal Coquette didn't do particularly well. Uh, I think the Stratoses may have dominated. Let's go have a little spectate. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, you're missing some body panels. Uh, a bit like me. You're missing both your doors. It's going to be very cold in there. <laughs> in this weather. Your engine will be nice and cool, though, with uh, no bonnet. And um, there's some interesting damage. Um, yeah, the front bumper is in the wheels because of physics of stuff does not work. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, okay, uh, I think he's coming around towards the end of the course. Uh, I'm guessing he's taken some adventures. I, I like Dirt. I think Dirt is a really very good game. Uh, it's often overlooked and kind of forgotten about a little bit. Um, I really do recommend if you haven't played it. Oh, well done. Uh, I just happened to be here watching you spin at that time. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I really recommend if you haven't played it, you should do. Uh, there is the slight problem that it needs an online pass, uh, which is a bit of a shame. They can get in second-hand ones um, a little bit. Well, I say dubious, but yeah, a little bit difficult um, because it's going to cost quite a bit to get it to work online. But I do recommend you play this game. I mean, it can't cost too much, uh, even if, say, the game costs like 10 quid. I don't know how much the online pass is, maybe 5 or 10 quid or something. Um, it is definitely worth it if you can pick up a copy cheap on eBay or something. You might be able to get a few new copies around. I don't know if there are still floating about in game shops, but I do recommend you get this game and have a go with it because it is a really good fun game. Even if you don't get the online pass and just play single player, it's really good fun. Uh, there is Jim Carner and stuff that I'm not going to show you today because I'm not really a fan of Jim Carner and playing it in multiplayer doesn't really work very well. So there we go. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed us playing a slightly different game. Uh, next week we will be back to Forza 4. We are going to be doing uh, the city setups, the Datsun that you uh, that you saw us racing on Thursday. You can find the car on Power of Dummies storefront. You can download it from there. And of course, if you want to take part, sign up on the forums. There will be a link in the description, and all the rules will be on there. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.